Well, Espanyol just full of uh, bee stings. They they poked that uh, hornet's nest, the bee's nest, whatever you like, at the weekend and got absolutely spanked. Uh, Espanyol plus 225. Villarreal at plus 115. This could be the biggest gift you're ever going to see because... Villarreal was so much better than Espanyol, but Villarreal, they need bandages. They need to be stitched up because they got opened up like nobody's business. Uh, Pavlos, the under over. Villarreal scored twice. is plus 100. The draw is at plus 250. And the over two and a half is minus 125. So really, we're looking at maybe three goals in this game. And if Villarreal scored twice, surely they plus 100 is a gift as well. Yeah. Logically speaking, Villarreal should be able to bounce back from that uh, really horrible loss to Barcelona. Um, however, I do have some doubts about the team total in the sense that Espanyol, you know, they managed to lose by a single goal to Real Sociedad. Um, they held, uh, of course, Real Sociedad are really, really struggling to create goals. I think they're scoreless in like four consecutive matches. So take that result with a grain of salt. Uh, they went to Atletico Madrid and frustrated them uh, quite, you know, a lot. Uh, it was a goalless draw. And in the oh, no, but Atletico Atletico should have scored five. That was they did play with their dinner that day. Yeah, but uh, for whatever reason, Espanol they didn't really open up that much. So maybe uh, Villarreal. I do see Villarreal getting a result here. <clears throat> now, is it a win? Possibly. Is the price right for a win? Definitely. Uh, but uh, maybe they win by one to nil because, you know, Espanyol, uh, they look decent up front, so they might score. And if they score, Villarreal are going to need a couple of goals to win. Uh, I'm not really sure what to expect of Espanyol, to be honest, uh, because they're coming off a slap in the face against Real Madrid where they, uh, you know, they went out in the second half and they did force Real Madrid to a couple of mistakes. Uh, maybe they revert to their... I don't. I really don't know what happens in the coach's uh, head because they're going to say, all right, we got slapped by, by Madrid. Let's be more careful at the back. Maybe, you know, get a draw against Villarreal. Uh, who are they playing next? Espanol are playing. Bet is next. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I, this is a tricky match, but uh, I wouldn't blame anybody from taking Villarreal money line. Uh, I actually did that in similar odds with uh, Real Sociedad over the weekend. Uh, it didn't turn out that well. It was a goalless draw. But um, if I went back in time, I'd definitely take Villarreal over Espanyol at this odds. Now, if you like goals, yeah, I mean, Villarreal, uh, they beat uh, they beat Espanyol 4-2 to at home last season. Just 1-0 uh, uh, in this venue, also last season. Uh, so this is a venue where Villarreal, they don't really, uh, they don't have it easy. I think they won just two of the last, what, 10 matches in this venue over the last 10 years. Uh, actually, two wins, two, draw, two losses, and all the others were draws. Not a lot of overs there. Uh, and I do take those historical data into consideration. But yeah, I think uh, it's not, it's far from a best bet, but it's a good uh, good line, good value, good price. So yeah, why not? Roll with the BRL money line. Yeah, the other one is Villarreal minus 0.25 at minus 112. Um, Mm-hmm. This gives you a little bit of a uh, half insurance on the draw. But Paco, Espanyol, minus 225 to sc- not score twice. I think that's quite a good uh, good parlay piece in itself. I don't see Espanyol scoring twice. Uh, is there any reason why we're not all diving on the Villarreal plus 115? Because there's a gulf between these two sides. I, I can't come up with one, actually. Right. Because uh, uh, so far this season, the, the only game where Villarreal have been uh, you know, outclassed by the opposition happened yesterday against potentially the, the La Liga winners. So in, in that case, you know, I think that we can absolutely you know, forgive Villarreal for not being a la- uh, able of, uh, to, not being able to, to overcome uh, Barca's talents. But so far, it's true that they haven't been able to really be strong at the back. But they have been so proficient when scoring that it hasn't really mattered. You know, Villarreal have scored more goals than Atletico de Madrid, more goals than Atletic Club, only one goal less than Real Madrid. So it speaks volumes about their potential uh, whenever they go on on the offense. In the same way, for example, as Celta, who have also 14 goals uh, in their favor. But in Villarreal's case, I think that 
after their defeat against Barca, uh, they really need to bounce back. I, I don't really remember Marcelino stringing two consecutive defeats uh, back in the day when he was Valencia's manager and so on. He always wanted to, he really adjusted things in the following days after a, a big defeat at the, as the one they suffered against Barca in, in La Ceramica. And also we had to add the fact that uh, so far Villarreal have worked wonders in this show with those Villarreal draw no bets, Villarreal money lines, Villarreal double chance, uh, and we have reaped the benefits. So I don't think why we should change at this point only after one single defeat against against Barca. So if you see Espanyol uh, under Manolo González, it's true that they won two in a row, but the way those games were won, I would say it's more a product of co coincidence and actual uh, you know, football style and a football progress. It's true that uh, Puado scoring many goals when he isn't really a goal scorer. Uh, Espanol really took advantage of that. And that's why they are sitting, you know, 13th at this point after those two consecutive wins and, and the draw that they were able to to snatch the week before. But I don't really trust Espanol because they lack uh, goal scorers. They, they lack that kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, proficiency in the, in that in that ability, whereas Villarreal, we saw them uh, with Tierno Barri, with Nicolas Pepe, with Jeremy Pino. Many many of those guys had go disallowed goals against against Barca, but in this game, they could perfectly go slot them in and and you know allow Villarreal to bounce back uh, straight after that defeat. So even the draw looks fine, but I think that Villarreal money line once again not over complicating things is uh, at least my pick in this game. Yeah, listen, I, I'm edging towards it as well. I do. I believe Villarreal is just going to be too good. But I also like Espanyol not to score twice at that minus 225 in maybe a two or three team parlay. Um, I'll look to see where else. Maybe Hetafe not to score is another one. And we'll look for the third. Let's have a little look at the official pick or picks. Uh, Villarreal money line plus 115. Don't complicate. Remember, if they score twice, it's only plus 100. Score twice, you've got to be thinking that they win the game. Let's 